Hi guys, welcome back to United Kingdom Crayfish Association's official YouTube channel. You all know me, Andy Mack, aka Mack of the Trapper. We're here back at Kings Nordley Fishery in Bridgenorth doing the uh, American Signal Crayfish Trapping video. You might recall on the previous video we did uh, a lot of field research regarding the baits. This guy's today is a very big day, okay? We're doing uh, the bait test results for five, I think it's five, five baits. We've got the herring, we've got the sticky baits, uh, liquefied ammonia krill, we've got the chicken chum, the rabbit chum, and uh, something else. <laughs> Can't remember which one it is, but there's definitely five on there, guys. Okay, it's definitely five. Oh, pork luncheon meat. That's it. Pork luncheon meat. I'll put so many baits in the water, guys. I even forget myself. Okay. Again, dedicating this video as official field research to Mike and Jerry from Craister. Guys, absolutely awesome live feed the other day. Uh, it was five o'clock in the morning for me, but like I say, I do go to work at half six in the morning. So to me, I was watching you as I was getting ready, having a coffee. Absolutely awesome video, guys. Fantastic shout out for the UKCA and uh, big, big, uh, big up to the guy over in Canada. He has now uh, also been added to the uh, United Kingdom Crayfish Association's official group. Uh, so me and uh, the guy over in Canada, sorry, I'm terrible with names, uh, is now officially working together and exchanging ideas and talking and spreading the word about cray fishing throughout the uh, throughout the UK and Canada. So, all good there, guys. Alrighty. So we're here back at the uh, the the, uh, the specimen pool in in uh, the Bridge North, one of the most amazing counties in the UK. Beautiful countryside, beautiful uh, lakes absolutely chock rammed with american signal crayfish okay so today guys like i say big video uh, i might have to upload this video in two parts because of the size of the video there are 15 pools here for me to uh, to trap in there are 20 traps on each pool that's uh, 250 crayfish traps guys okay 250 crayfish traps it's going to be a busy, busy day. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be basically pulling them in, doing a quick total. I won't be filming every single 250 traps I'll be pulling in. So I'll be basically filming the ones that have got the de decent amount of crayfish in there and doing a wrap up at the end of each pool. So uh, unless, of course, there's a massive crayfish in there, which I've got, of course, my uh, measuring tape ready so we can do a quick, uh, a quick count up and a quick uh, yield for, for that. So guys, without further ado, it's going to be a busy day for me here. The sun's coming out in, uh, in Bridge North here. I absolutely love this county. It's awesome. Uh, fantastic people. Big, big shout out to Con. Hi, buddy. Hope you're well. Um, that's about it for now, guys. So let's crack on with this lake. Let's get those uh, crayfish traps pulled in. Let's see what's in there. Okay, guys, first trap for the, the uh, chicken chum. This is chicken chum. Let's pull this one in, see what's in there. Yeah, decent amount of haul of signals in there. Okay, let's have a look what we got. Okay, we've got quite, quite a few in there. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 12. 14, 14 in there guys, 14 for the first trap using the chicken jump. And as you can see there, that bait peg has been well and truly battered. Okay, well and truly battered. It works. Okay, the chicken chum works. Alrighty, so we're going to uh, better get that fish out of there. It looks like it's about to get dis dis uh, disintegrated. 14 for the first trap, guys, using chicken chum. Okay, guys, second uh, second trap using chicken chum. Let's see what's in this one. Alrighty, let's have a look. Yeah, we've got uh, crayfish in there. Okay, got some decent ones in there as well. That's a decent size one there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, okay, 12 for bag two for chicken chum. There's the bait bag there, guys, as you can see, working nicely, lovely. So yeah, that's uh, 12, and that's uh, trap there for chicken chum. Guys, pump three, pump three, trap three, I should say, for the chicken chum. Let's see what's in here. In there we have a big fat, uh, you can see the chum in there, uh, big fat zero in there for that chicken chum. Okay, no worries. I'll sit that back in there. Rebate it later. That's zero for trap three. Okay, guys, fourth trap for the chum. And we have quite a few in there. Let's have a look. There's some big ones as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen American signals. Decent sized ones as well. Let's see if we can get him out. Let go. <laughs> it's not letting go. Got one claw there. Let go. Uh, doesn't want to play. Okay. See, so yeah, we've got some decent ones in there, guys. That's 14 for the uh, chicken chum. Uh, I thought I'd have trap four. Then there's one more trap over yonder, down the uh, bottom of the uh, bottom of the lake. Then we've got that side there. That's with the rabbit chum. Okay. So that's uh, the final one. Is that blue? 
Borley right over in the under. Okay, then we'll do a quick total. I'll stick those in the holding pot. Okay, okay, guys, this is the uh, fifth and final trap for the uh, for the chicken chum. As you can see here, guys, this is absolutely perfect. Uh, crayfish territory. We've got the reeds here. We've got the uh, the moss as well there. So that's photosynthesizing. That's going to be putting a lot more uh, uh, oxygen back into the water. Uh, and the reeds here, like I say, they can hide from predators in there. So I've got one more trap. This is for the uh, chicken chum. Okay. I pulled this in one-handed, guys. I should have picked up my tripods from uh, Sainsbury's earlier, but unfortunately, had a bit of a rush. Okay. So here we go. Oh wow, this is heavy. I can't quite see what's in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Look at that lot. Now we are talking. Okay. And there you have it, guys. Proof of the pudding is in the eating. <laughs> Look at all those signals. Look at all those guys. That is incredible. That is awesome. Not sure how many are in there, so I'll count those out. Stick them into the uh, transport here, the crayfish transport mobile, <laughs> as you can see. Oh, look at that. Got some big guys in there too. Awesome. I knew that would be a good be a good place to trap guys as like I say you've got a uh, fantastic Fantastic uh, environment there for the crayfish to hide in. Okay, so let's get those guys counted out see how many is in there That is awesome. Let's just quickly open that there. Give you a better view of the inside There you go. Okay guys look at that See that big guy down there rearing up already Look at the size of the claws on that guy. Look at him. Come on to say hi Mike Jerry I Hope you're seeing this boys absolutely awesome crayfish absolutely awesome look at the size of that guy go on there's a big fella let's see if we can get him out and have a look at him okay we've got one claw there american signal aquamarine claw as you can see there like i said to you before in previous videos guys these these uh, crayfish they can or all crayfish can regrow their limbs he's trying to get away from me now look he thinks i'm going to eat him which i am later <laughs> nice boil all right fantastic okay stick you in there say hello there you go there you go guys that is awesome that's for the chicken chum okay gonna count those out now and i'll tell you what that total is in a minute okay guys that's 38 crayfish out of that one trap Mark by the blue boy as you can see there that's 38 crayfish out of that one trap that's decent you can see there out of five traps guys that's a decent haul Alrighty, we'll do a quick total up of that at the end of the video. Uh, video will be going online tonight when I've done the done the retotal. Alrighty, that's 38 guys out of that one trap, out of five traps around the uh, lake as you can see there. Okay, so we'll be pulling the rest in and we'll see what we get. Okay guys, this is the first pot for the uh, rabbit chum. We've done the chicken chum, uh, that's the total in there for the chicken chum. Um, I've been calling out the numbers. I'll pull the traps in, so I'll do a quick calculation of that later on tonight when I'm putting the video together for the channel. Okay, guys, this is the first one for the uh, rabbit chum. This is rabbit chum for the American signal. Let's see what this trap oh, that weighs a ton. Oh. <laughs> and that's why. <laughs> yeah, we've got loads in there. We've got loads in there. Look at that. Fantastic. Uh huh. There's the bait bag. There's my backup sponge there for my liquefied krill bait, which I'm going to be rebaiting re with, because to be honest, that's all I've got <laughs> at the moment. Right then, guys, same again. I'll count those out and tell you how much is in there. Okay, guys, that's one of the crayfish out of that trap there for the rabbit chum. That is a big guy. Look at the size of him. Yeah, big American signal. Beautiful claws there. Look at the coloration on that claw on that one there. Absolutely awesome crayfish. Look at the size of that guy. Beautiful. All right, let's get the rest of them counted. Let's go and see how big your buddies are, shall we? <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, out of that trap there for the rabbit chum, we have 27. As you can see by that basket there, that is, that is really filling up. Alrighty. 27 for the first trap with rabbit chum. What I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to pull the rest of them in, stick them in there, and then I'm going to walk those up to the holding part, which is up there. As you can see, it's a beautiful place, this fishery, right in the heart of Bridge North countryside fantastic really quiet beautiful fishing and fantastic trapping <laughs> okay we'll pull the rest in do a quick total stick those in the holding pot because the one thing i don't want to happen is for them to die okay so we'll crack on guys that's the first the second the third trap i think lake three lake lake even lake three i'm only sticky baits i'm only krill 
Yeah, we've got a few in there. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six crayfish in there, guys. Six for the Money Baits krill. Guys, nice. fourth trap. Ow. I'm only sticky baits. Sticky baits, I'm only krill. Again, fantastic yield. Massive claw on that baby there. Look at the size of that, guys. Hey, Jerry. Hey, Mike. Check it out, boys. Check out the size of that claw. Look at the size of that guy. Go on. All right. Let's count those out. See how many are in there. Okay, guys. There was 18. 18 in that trap using the ammonia. Ammonia. Ammoni. Krill. Liquefied krill from sticky baits. 18. And you can see that bucket, guys, is seriously beginning to top up. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Last trap on this lake, guys. Liquefied ammonia krill, sticky baits. What we got? We got two and a claw. So there's only three in there, actually. Oh, there was three in there. You see the remains of one there, look. Okay. Been eaten by him and him. So there was three, but there's now two. But we'll count the dead one anyway, because it was in the trap. It was attracted to the baits. So that's three in the final trap for this lake. For the sticky baits, bait, liquefied ammonia krill. Hey guys, this is the fourth lake. This is a private lake, guys, syndicate, uh, rented out by Ian to a private owner. Must have some serious money, but as you can tell there, you can see there in the distance, blue float, blue float, and two there, one, two, blue floats. And there's the third one there, right in the distance. Uh, basically, uh, so the private anglers know that the uh, UKCA are trapping on these waters. So this is the first trap using the, uh, I think this was uh, herring. I'm not too sure. I'll pull this in. I'll know when I see it. Okay, this is the first trap, Lake 4, for herring. I think. Let's have a look. Now, I've been told by the anglers that there are some proper lobsters in here, guys. So let's uh, let's see what's in here. And yeah, yeah, not too bad. Decent-sized crayfish in there, guys. Absolutely. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six crayfish in there. And that remains of the bone of the fish. Okay, so that's herring. So that's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six confirmed crayfish for the herring. Okay, guys, I actually forgot to pull this trap in. It was that well concealed. I knew I had a trap around here somewhere, but I couldn't find it. Actually, uh, walked straight past it, so I've actually found it now. Okay, this is for the uh, sticky baits, Amoni krill. See on the sponge there. Let's see how many are in here. It's heavy. Remember, it's been in here now for six days, soaking. So we should have a decent haul. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, well, there you go, guys. There you go, look at that. Okay. I'll count those out to you and let you know how many are in there. Wow, okay. That's for the ammonia krill, the uh, liquefied krill from Sticky Baits, guys. And I think, to be perfectly honest with you, using the Koyoki trap, that the UKCA is now going to name this stuff the official bait because this is like a magnet. There you go, guys. That's the sticky baits, ammonia krill, aqua amino, and there, guys, is the product. <laughs> awesome, awesome yield. Okay, I'll count those out to you and get back to you. Okay, guys, that's the yield for today out of all those traps, plus that additional 30 for the one that I actually forgot about and actually go back and had to check. And as you can see, guys, decent yield. That's the view from inside the cage. Look at the size of that guy there, having a fight with that bar. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, big crayfish guys, a lot of crayfish, not too sure how many are in there, I'm going to do the total up later on tonight when I'm doing the video, but as you can see that cage was empty this morning, and that's the result for the trapping for today, out of four lakes, nice aquamarine signal crayfish there, compared to the red, there, yeah, decent sized crayfish there guys, fantastic. All active, all nice and alive as well. Ow! As you can see there. Uh, lovely. Okay. Let's get those back in the water. Keep them alive. And on to the next five lakes. I've been here for now three hours. I don't know the five lakes to do. <laughs> okay. Let's crack on. Okay, guys. Just a quick video. I want to show you on that far bank there. The level of erosion on that bank due to the digging of the American signal crayfish on this lake. Okay. And you can see the rest of the lake here is not too bad. This is a privately owned syndicate lake, guys, for fishing for carp, big, huge mirrors and commons. 
but on that far bank there as you can see there's a lot of erosion and a lot of bank collapse you can even see if you try hard enough the actual pits dug into the wall by the uh, crayfish right just a quick shout out to lord back and forth one of my subscribers hope you're well buddy um gave me an idea gave a suggestion i should say about marmite and uh, yeast for baits now we know that the american signal is attracted to bread uh, why that is i don't know but uh uh, Lord Backenfall suggested that we use the uh, use marmite and uh, yeast for uh, bread, homemade bread making, for as a test. So, this is the basis for the next field seed test research video, uh, using yeast extract as bait. Lord Backenforth, buddy, this is going to be your lake, my friend. This is the uh, test lake for your idea. Uh, there are uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, ten, ten pots on this lake, guys, and they've been loaded with uh, marmite mixed in with that uh, homemade yeast extract. Um, so we can find that. Actually, I've got it in this bag somewhere. Let's have a quick look if it's still in there. I haven't binned it. Where are you? There it is. Okay, that's the uh, that's the stuff there, guys. Okay, it's called Allinson's Allinson's yeast, dried active yeast. Okay, and marmite is yeast extract which is if you excuse me for a moment while I try and find it where are you gone there it is okay is that stuff there which is yeast extract now Jerry and Mike in the States guys I don't know what that would be called in America you probably can get it but basically it's yeast extract uh, is used for things like gravy and you can put it in your put it on your breakfast for your toast uh, this stuff basically you either love it or you hate it I can't stand it I think it's rank but uh, it's uh, very, very powerful smelling. So there's basically, we've yeasted up the, uh, the sponges with this stuff. It's a brown, um, kind of like a liquid, very similar to the, uh, to the Amoni Krill, but it's actually vegetarian, it's vegetable yeast. So the theoretically, it should be uh, like an active yeast attraction for the, uh, for the males, because obviously uh, the females give out like a yeast hormone in the, uh, in the mating season. So theoretically, we should be onto a winner. But uh, we'll, we'll know about that in the next six days, guys, okay? I've now been here for four hours, and I've done five legs. I've got another four to do. I'm absolutely exhausted. I might not get around them all, depending on the time. I do have to get back. I've got three lovely Rottweilers to, uh, to go back and uh, sort out my babies. Pearly, Ruby, and Zeus, as you saw in the videos before. But uh, Lord, back and forth, buddy. This is your test lake, okay? So we're going to be coming back in six days' time to see what the reaction is with that, uh, with that uh, idea. Okay, so uh, onwards and upwards, let's get onto those other lakes, see if I can get another two hours under my belt, and then we'll start heading back home. And we'll do a wrap-up when I'm back at the house. Okay, guys, see you soon. Okay, guys, next lake, pulling in the traps. Can't remember what I've actually used as bait on this, guys, because it was over a week ago, and I am absolutely knackered now, so let's pull this in, see what's in here. Hopefully there's no fish, just nice big juicy signals. So let's have a look. It's heavy. Hopefully there's no fish. I can't see anything splashing in there, so we should be okay. There you go. And we've got some big, juicy signals there, guys. Look at that. Oh, it's the cat food. Okay, guys, this is the uh, field research for the cat food. Okay, we've got how many in there? We've got some decent ones in there, guys. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's six crayfish. Trap one for the cat food. Okay guys, this is the uh, the weigh-in, total weigh-in for the first lake using cat food as the bait. We've rebaited using the American, the, the American, the uh, uh, Amoni Krill from Sticky Baits. Like I say, we are going to use that now guys as the official bait of the UKCA because the amount of yield we're getting out of them is just ridiculous. So we're going to be using, again, the uh, Saga scales weighing in on kilograms. Okay, so then, let's see how many are in here. Out of one lake guys using cat food we have 5.4 kilos there's one there trying to make a bit of escape you ain't going nowhere pal okay you're not moving anywhere there you are so you go back in there that's it 5.5 kilos out of one lake using cat food there's cheap nasty cat food from morrison's in great park birmingham there you go. Oh, it's gone down to 4.5 now. Then again, they are moving around, so it's probably doesn't to do that. We'll go with 5.45, okay, guys? That's 5.45 kilos of American signal crayfish out of this lake using cat food. Okay, we've got another two lakes to trap on, and then we'll be uh, ready for the big old heave home. Okay, guys, let's uh, crack on. Okay, guys, it's been a long old walk. Okay, this is the uh, 
the tally for today of all the lakes. As you can see, that is pretty much full. I don't know how many are in there, but it weighs a hell of a lot. We've got the last trap now. I just pulled one trap in for the pork luncheon meat, guys. This is the pork test for pork luncheon. Uh, the one over yonder had one little tiny crayfish in it. This is the last trap of the day, guys. I am absolutely exhausted. I don't know how far I've walked today, guys, but it's been a hell of a long way. This is the last trap for today, guys. It's uh, water levels dropped in this lake over the last couple of days and it's exposed the trap, so hopefully it hasn't uh, killed any of the crayfish. So let's see how many are in there. Let's pull this in and see how many we've got. Oh man, I'm tired. Okay, okay. <laughs> wow. Can you see what I'm seeing? Okay, let's pull it in. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, guys, can you see this? Jerry, Mike, check this out, guys. Check this out. And that, guys, is for pork luncheon meat, as you can see there in that can. That is a record for American signal crayfish in one trap. I have no idea how many are in there. I'm going to count those out. Hopefully, they're all going to fit in there. And uh, I'll uh, total this up afterwards. Okay, guys, I'll be back to you in a moment. Wow. <laughs> okay, guys, check this out. 56, okay, 56 American signal crayfish coming out of that one trap, which I've reset right there. You can see Mega Peg there in the bank, right there. 56 crayfish coming out of that one trap. And we had some absolute corkers too. Massive, massive crayfish. As you can see, guys, that, that entire basket there is now full. Okay, we got a lot of crayfish in there, probably maybe a thousand. Uh, yeah, decent day's fishing, guys. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna now walk that back to the uh, the van, total them all up, total weight, and uh, divide them up into uh, the holding box. Okay, so long walk back for me, guys. So I'll see you back at the van. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the results for the uh, the trapping for the UKCA on the uh, on the lake over in Kings Nordley. Uh, I've got the results here for the uh, for the uh, test baits. Okay, look, what a few results to get through here, guys. Okay, okay, for the chicken trum, uh, for the ch for the chicken trum, even we had uh, seventy nine crayfish. For rabbit chum, we had twenty seven. The rest didn't have any any in for some strange unknown reason. Uh, krill, we had one hundred and fifty seven. That's the ammoni liquefied krill from Sticky Baits, the official baits of the of the UKCA. Herring, we only had six. Quite surprised at that, to be honest with you, especially herring, some as strong smelling as uh, as herring, but uh, only six um, six crayfish out of uh, ten pots. Quite bizarre. Uh, pork luncheon meat, guys. We had fifty seven. Remember, we had fifty six in one trap. That's just amazing, it's incredible. Uh, cat food, sixty eight, sixty eight uh, crayfish out of the out of the cat food. We also got to remember, okay, guys, that the uh, the cat food also weighed in at five point four five kilos. That's a lot of uh, a lot of crayfish using that one one bait. The overall um, the overall weight of that bucket, as you can see, that bucket was really really full. Was actually uh, twenty two kilos in weight. <laughs> That's a lot of uh, a lot of crayfish, guys. A lot of crayfish. Uh, okay, so basically, guys, the winner from all that field research is yet again the ammoni liquefied krill from sticky baits we're going to be using that now in the uk here as the official bait we've done a lot of research there guys using a lot of different types of baits and uh, we keep coming back to the same one which is the ammoni liquefied krill from sticky baits okay so we're going to be using that now officially as uh, as the bait for the uk ca but for bulk for bulk um crayfish in the traps we're going to award that winner to the pork luncheon meat because our 56 crayfish in one trap as you saw in the video is just ridiculous okay i've never had that many crayfish apart from the the uh the turkish narrow claw and i pulled out about 4.45 uh, kilos out of one trap using banana skins in a previous video i've got on the channel but uh, for pork luncheon meat for, for American Signal, the different species, obviously different types of crepes go for different types of, uh, of bait. So we're going to be awarding that to the pork luncheon meat, okay? But for, for general uh, transporting of, of baits uh, for results per per serving of that bait is definitely without doubt guys the ammoni liquefied krill from uh, sticky baits okay that is now the official bait of the ukca and that is what we are now going to uh, continue to use as you saw in that video as well a uh, big shout out to lord back and forth uh, basically he's given me that idea for the uh, for the yeast so we're going to be doing one more field research uh, video on that to see if the um, the signal is attracted to the smell of the yeast 
um, answering his question. And that's what the UKCA is all about, guys, okay? Any questions, any baits you want me to try, please uh, leave a, a message on the uh, on the feedback, on the on the video, underneath the comment section. Uh, let me know what you want me to test with, and uh, we'll use that one lake there for uh, for testing. It is privately owned, like I say, so nobody else can go on there. So it's perfect for field research. So that's what we're going to be using from now on. Um, so uh, yeah, like I say, those are interesting results, especially that uh, that result there for the herring. I can't believe it. It got six six crayfish out of those uh, ten traps. It's amazing. Maybe they just don't like the taste of herring. It's quite bizarre. Anyway, guys, like I say, we're going to be going back over to that fishery in uh, in uh, in six days' time to uh, pull those traps in to see what we've got there on the uh, marmite and the uh, the Allison's yeast uh, um, uh, traps baited with that for Lord back and forth. So that's going to be your video then today, buddy. We're going to uh, make sure that that's uh, all uh, all sorted out for you. We're going to answer that question, make sure it's. Uh, field research to the best of our ability and uh, see what re results we get and that's going to be uh, next monday so until then guys i'm andy mack and you are watching the official channel of the ukca on youtube until next time guys keep it safe keep it great keep it ukca and i'll see you on the next one bye for now